In today's video, I'll be giving you a few tips on using DesignSpark Mechanical 4.2. For this video, I'll be using the latest build from January 2019. The first tip would be how the latest release has now introduced a backup option for saving copies of your designs to an external folder. You can toggle this setting by going into File, Design Spark Options, Support Files, and tick mark this box. You can change the update frequency, the location of your backups, and for how long the files you'd like to be kept. The default location would be in the App Data Roaming directory within the Space Claim folder. Next, you have an option to change the rendering quality of the designs that you load. This will drastically speed up performance on your machine, especially if you have an older graphics card. So you can set a quality setting between one to five. Most designs will load to a default rendering quality of 5. If you have a high spec machine, you can use between 7 to 10. But we recommend keeping it around 5. There is also an option to change the graphics renderer. On most windows, 10 machines, you will have DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 renderers installed. But in, should you have any problems with your graphics card, you can always switch to an OpenGL renderer and this will load up the designs. If you're sharing your project to a collaborator or even sending to us at Design Spark Support. And if your project has multiple external components or makes reference to 3D models taken from other sources, you'd want to right click on the parent item of the project, go to source and then click on internalize all. This takes a copy of all external components to the project and creates a single archive which is still named an RS talk, which you can then share with your collaborator. You will notice the file size will go up slightly, but this is normal because it now includes copies of multiple external components that may have been spread in multiple directories on your computer. You also have the option now to check your geometry for errors by right clicking again on the parent item. This will perform a few checks on the solids and surfaces within your project and then highlight any problems and what fixes it needs. You can enable the zoom to fit option to highlight which portion of the project the error is pointing to. There is now a quick reference card available within the Help Resources tab, which provides you a list of shortcut keys to access the various sketch options and 3D or geometry manipulation options within DSM. Once you click on this button, it will load a PDF in your default web browser, which you can then save to your laptop for later reference. This is very useful for beginners and even intermediate users of the software. There is also a lot of options to tweak the environment and texturing of the objects in your project. So if you click the parent item, you can now select between metallic brushed hash surfaces and even change the finishing quality.
So this wraps our video for tips for this month. We'll be making more videos giving you suggestions on how to make your design experience within DSM easier in the next few months. So look out for those videos. Thanks for watching.